Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello, this is Dr. G. Kalayarasi, Department of CSC, Associate Professor, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. So, in this video, we are going to see a program in C. That is, we are going to see removal of duplicate elements in an array using C program. So, before that, what is array? It is a group of similar data items that has been stored in continuous memory location. And what is duplicate element? A number that occurs more than once in an array. Fine. So, just for an example, if the input is like this, that is 20, 30, 20, 50, 30, 20 and 10, what could be our expected output? Our expected output is 20, 30, 50, 10. That is the duplicate elements. First, if you take 20, that has been occurred thrice. So, only one should be taken into account and the two occurrences should be removed. Similarly, if you check for another elements, next is 30, which is present twice. So, only one should be taken into account and one more should be removed. So, that is our topic. Fine. Let us see how it could be done. Uh, we will take the same example for this entire video. So, first I am going to take the first element that is a of 0. So, in a of 0, we have 20 and size of the array is 7. So, as you know in array, it starts from the index position 0 and it keeps on increasing till n minus 1. That is, if it starts from 0, it ends till 7 minus 1, 6. So, this is our input and this particular first element is being taken and it will be compared with all the other elements to its right side. So, to its right side in the sense 30, 20, 50, 30, 20, 10. Okay. So, this 120 will be compared with all the other elements. See, first 20 is compared with 30, then 20, then again 50, 30, 20, finally 10. So, all this, what is there? First, when you compare with 30, there is no change because both are not equal. So, we will just move to the next memory location. So, in the next position, in the next index position 2, you had 20. The element what we have taken 20 that is being compared with 20. So, this time both the elements are equal which means we have to delete this element because that is our program. Fine. So, this should be deleted and what we have to do? We have to replace this particular 20 with all the other elements to its right. Okay. So that is this 20 will be replaced by 50 and 30 will be replaced by 50 that is the fourth location position will be replaced in third location. Fifth position's element that is 20 will be changed or replaced to fourth location that is 20 is moved to moved one step left and finally 10 will be moved to fifth position. Okay. So, there will not be element in your last position. Okay. So, at this stage your size of the array is decreased by 1 that is 6. Initially it was 7 and now one duplicate element is being removed and your size is 6. So, this step keeps on continuing until you find only unique elements. There should not be any duplicate elements. So, your final output will be of size of an array with 4, 4 elements. For this input, your output will be 20, 30, 50, 10. These 4 are the unique elements. Okay? Just we will see in a detailed manner. So, it's because we are going to see how to write a C program. So, these are the steps. When you write a C program, what are the things you will be doing? First, you used to declare the header file, then variables and then you have to get the size of the array from user and then you have to read the elements from the for the array from the user and then finally, you are going to do the removal process of duplicate elements using for loop. Then we are going to print the unique elements in the array. So, we will see those four points again here. So, you are going to declare necessary variables what all we need. So, size of the array, your array elements and then if you need maybe for the for loops you will be having some var variables like right? those all should be declared. Then you are going to get input size from the user. So, for that you are going to use printf and scanf statement. As you all know in the output screen you will be getting enter the size of the array and user will be giving input as n. And this is for 
entering or reading elements of this integer array using for loop. You know, because we are using array, so for reading elements from user, you need for loop. So, for i equal to 0, i less than n. Why we are giving n? Because our size of the array is n and this loop will be incrementing. So, size we are taking n is equal to 7. So, when i equal to 0, in a of 0th position, we have given 20, in a of 130, in a of 220. So, it keeps on increasing until your size. Okay. So, here we have given 7 elements. Now, this is the logic. Fine. So, for this, we have taken 2 loops. One is first loop is the outer loop, second loop is the inner loop. So, after that you are going to check one condition and then again if that condition is true, you are going to enter into the for loop. Okay. Let us see this with an example. So, first what is the outer loop? That is your first loop is for i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. We are going to take the same example. So, when i is equal to 0, so what is a of 0? Okay. So, we are going in i equal to 0, then again you are entering into the loop for j equal to i plus 1. So, i is 0, so 0 plus 1 will be j. Okay? So, at present scenario, i equal to 0 and j equal to 1. You have to compare a of i and a of j. What is a of 0? It is 20. What is a of 1? It is 30. 20 and 30 are compared. In case, if these both are equal, that is if your condition is true, it will enter inside this group of statements. But this condition is not true, it is false, okay? which means you are going to increment this j loop. It will not enter into, into this group of statements. Okay? So, now j will be 2 because initially j is 1, now j is 2. Remember, a is, I mean i is 0 only. Okay? So, a of 0 is 20 only. Now, j equal to 2. Now, again, after entering into this loop, you have to check the condition if a of i is equal to a of j. So, what is a of i? That is a of 0 is 20. What is a of j? That is also 20. If you check the condition 20 is equal to 20, yes, this condition is true, which means our control gets into this group of statements. So, if it enter into this, you have a for loop. What is that for loop? For k equal to j. So, what is j? It is 2. Now, k also 2. So, after that, it is entering into this where you have a of k equal to a of k plus 1. It is nothing but a of 2 equal to a of 3. So, why you need this? We are going, if we find duplicate element, you are going to move all the elements that are right to its left. Okay. That is the concept. For that particular point only, you need this group of statements. Fine. So, you are comparing a of k, a of k plus 1. So, which is a of 2 equal to a of 3. That not, that not comparing, that is you are going to assign a of k plus 1th location value to a of k. So, that is a of 3rd location will be assigned to a of 2nd location. Why are we doing this? Because in a of 2, you have duplicate element. So, that 20 should be removed. So, in the place of 20, 50 should be shifted. See this? Here in the a of seconds location you have 20. Since it is duplicate element, you are going to move 50 to the second location. Okay. So, this keeps on continuing until all the elements that are right will be shifted to its left. Fine. So, this is the way that will be continued for entire elements. So, once this is done, finally your j becomes, I mean j is decremented and n is also decremented. So, j will be decremented 1 and n will be decremented. So, that will become 6. So, this entire thing for the whole uh, input. See, starting we have started with i equal to 0, where a of 0 is 20 and again j equal to 1. So, at this particular scenario, there is no change. But when j equal to 2, there is a change because you have 20 element that is been removed and the, all the elements are shifted. Okay. Then again, this loop continues. When j equal to 1, 2, 3, that is after coming out of this loop, again this will be compared and this particular 20 will be removed and this 10, that is a of 5th location will be moved to a of 4th location. Okay. Then once that j loop, that inner loop is over, you are going to the first loop. What is our outer loop? Our outer loop is i. Okay. Initially, i was 0. Now, i is equal to 1. Again, what are you going to do? You are going to take the second position element that is a of first position element. What is a of first position element here? It is 30. 
So, this 30 will be compared with all the elements to its right. Okay. When it is compared, again you will be encountering one duplicate element because you have 30 in A of third position. Okay. Again what you have to do? You have to remove that and you have to shift the element which is present in the fourth location to its left. Okay. So, now your output is 20, 30, 50, 10. So, this loop will be continue until the condition i less than n is met. Here, since we do not have any other duplicate elements, there will not be any change. So, finally, your unique elements of your input array is 20, 30, 50, 10. So, this is our output. So, what all we have seen? Just I have given us a C program. So, this is a C program. You can execute and see. First, you will be including header file. Then, we are going to write main function. Why, why we have given y? Because this function is not going to return any value. Then declaration for array, for size of the array, for loop variables. And then you have asked printf enter the size of the array. Then size is being given. Use if printf and scanf statement, you are using, you are getting input and output. And with the help of for loop, you get the elements from user. Finally, you are just printing the elements that are present in the array before removal of duplicates. See here, elements present in the array are using for loop you are displaying, but this is before the removal of duplicates. Once this logic is being done, you are going to print the elements that are removed from the array, that is duplicate elements that are removed from the array. So, you will be having only unique elements. So, this is your output screenshot. You have entered the size of the array and you have entered seven elements and elements present in the array and finally unique elements that is after removing the duplicate elements you have the output as 20, 30, 50 and 10. So, all the duplicates are being removed and you have only unique elements. Thank you.